Hi there, Joan again. Um, I've been doing a pumpkin carving kind of a series of videos and they are in part for YouTube for my channel but also in part for my blog which is on um, adventures and menopause and its address is survivinglifeover40.com and on there I have a written blog post with photos as well as links to all the videos that I've been doing for pumpkin carving today. I think there is now, this will be number six. Um, so we started out very basic pumpkin carving 101 and we've done a couple fun things. We've learned how to do some 3D elements on our pumpkins and we've learned about taking the skin off um, in such a way that will allow the light to shine through the pumpkin for some of our designs. Um, and today at the last pumpkin I've gotten a little, maybe a little carried away. I'm trying something different. Um, Basically, if you decide you want to carve a pumpkin, nobody said it has to be a monster or a ghost or a spooky face or any of those things. You can do it any way you'd like. You can have any kind of design you'd like. Um, like one of the videos today, I did a haunted house on one. Um, this one, I've decided to get a little bit girly with it. I've already emptied it out and cut off my top. I'll have the little vent hole that I've been talking about in every video to allow the steam out so the lid doesn't shrivel up and fall in. And I'm just going to bring this a little closer so you can see. This is the design I've made for this one. I like to do henna, and this is kind of a henna-ish design. It's going to be like a sunflower. The center circle will be cut out, but I'm going to do that last. Um, because I don't want to take away a large portion of the area that might be holding it all together while I do all the intricate bits. I'm learning my lesson as I go. So these... Our petals, the marker shows it as a full petal, but I can't cut out the full petal because there will be nothing here and this whole chunk will fall out. So what I'm doing is the parts that are doubled is where I'm going to cut out. There's going to be a section from here to here on each petal that will still be attached. And that is what will hold this section in place. Alright, so there will be an empty hole, there will be the flower petals. Then there will be a space, and then the other flower petals are just going to be cutouts here. And I've got some curly cues. I'm going to poke some holes and things. I'm going to have some fun with it. I've got myself like a wooden skewer thing I can use to poke holes. I have my good old-fashioned peeler that when you poke it in and turn it around, you end up with a nice hole. And I've got um, my itty-bitty tool that I've been using all day to get all around all these little corners. So I think it's going to be fun. This might take a little while because it is a little more intricate. So um, I may at some point pause it and do it in two parts if it starts getting too long. But um, first off, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna poke some holes in some of the areas that I need to cut so that I have all my holes ready to go. Because as I've said before, this doesn't have a pointy tip. So it will go through the pumpkin, but if you spend all your time forcing it through the pumpkin, Sometimes you can break the blade off, and I have done that before. And since I use it so much, I don't want to do that again. I want to make sure I have my handy-dandy gadget until the bitter end, so to speak. So I'm making starter holes every time I use it so I have some place to put it. Oh, my dog's just been moaning and groaning all day. Maybe he doesn't feel well either. Hard to see. Also, my tummy was rumbling because I hadn't gotten around to eating anything today. So I have chicken in the oven, and if the chicken gets done, I'm really, really hungry, and I may just stop the, the video, stop the video, and go eat my supper. Um, so yeah, it might end up being two parts. Okay, so all of the flowery petal parts, I think I now have little holes for. So I'm just going to start sawing away. And like I said, I'm going to start where the lines join together. And I'm basically cutting out a bit of a rounded V-shape to be my the outside edge of my petal. later because they are small slivers that I'm cutting out. So it all depends on whether or not they allow enough light to come through for my design. So I have 
have to leave enough attached part here. If I leave, I just realized, if I leave all of this part attached, but I cut all the way around it and join each of these, then this whole piece will come out, and I don't want the whole piece to come out, so I'm leaving some space. The petals may not end up being exactly symmetrical, because some of them will start farther up the flower than others, in order to make sure that I don't accidentally cut it off. However, I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for fun. Fun and creativity. That's what I'm doing. And since I have filled up my junk bag full of goodies and goo, I am poking my pieces into the back and I'll dump them out later. I've done so many pumpkins today, I've just got a great big garbage bag full of goo. Alright. So, so far, so good. That line ends there, that line ends there. I've got little pieces in between each one that will help hold it together. So I think I'm going to alternate. Every other one I'll go a little farther down. And that way it looks kind of like it was meant to be that way. Part of the pattern. When in doubt, find a way to make it look like it was part of the plan. I saw a little quote once that I thought was quite cute when I was younger, and it said, If at first you don't succeed, um, the second part of one of them is, If at first you don't succeed, hide all evidence that you tried. Which at the time I thought was quite cute, but nowadays I've kind of figured, oh, well, nobody's going to succeed every time they try something new, so I have no problem letting people know that I may have made a mistake. Because I intend to learn from it. But I have since seen one that says, if at first you don't succeed, try what your wife told you to do the first time. I thought it was quite funny. There we go. That one was giving me a hard time. So here's what we've got so far. This is how it's going to look. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. And that one I started all the way down, so this one I'm going to start a little farther up. couple of these on Pinterest, which I love to go and look on Pinterest and see what people are up to, because I love to try the new ones when I see them, which is where I kind of come up with this the idea for a henna type pumpkin. And what they had also done, and it was a very cool one, I didn't think I'd want to try it today because I figured it might be a little hard, but they had done this, but while they were cutting the petals, they also had carved inwards at an angle. So the petals were all white, they had taken all the skin off of them, and they had carved inwards and towards the center so it did actually look like it was coming out 3D like flowers. Very cool looking. Also a lot of work, I'm sure. Not that I have a problem with work, but when I'm doing something on a video, they tend to get really long. And I may have mentioned before, my honey keeps telling me that nobody wants to really to watch a really long video rather do something that's like a short sweet video and I haven't yet been able to actually make a short sweet video because I talk too much but um, I figure if people watch them and they decide that I talk too much and they can find it easier from somewhere else they'll go somewhere else and if they don't mind listening to me ramble on while I try and teach them something or at least show them something I've learned then that's fine too Oops. Ooh, I missed. I suppose that's a good thing of using these little guys, is they're not sharp enough to actually hurt you if you stab yourself with it. If you sawed your finger, I'm sure that you would still manage to hurt yourself, but you just slip with the tip of it, unlike the knives. I'm going to walk away bandaged. Okay. So, I don't know if you can tell in the photo or not photo, but the, the close-up when I show it to you, but the outside of each flower petal has a larger gap than the inside, so I've kind of widened it out towards the end of each. 
once I get my light in there later, I'll be able to tell if I need to make any of these areas a little wider to let more light through. Pretty sure that one needed it. Those didn't look pretty good. So this is what I've got so far. You can see that. Now, I could do what I did with the owl, which is peel the skin off of these petals here. I don't think I'm going to. I've done my peeling for the day. I am, however, going to cut a little bit in the center. I want to have a slot in the center of each petal just for interest's sake. It's not really accomplishing a lot, except to allow a little tiny bit of light down through the center of that petal. And also, I think once I cut out my circle, it might look a bit like the sun. Who knows? Since flowers quite often look kind of like the sun in the first place, maybe it'll have a cool effect. I'm not going to try and get these out of there right now. I'm going to wait until I cut the circle. And I think a lot of it might be easier once the circle is cut. Some of it may still be attached to the circle. It'll come out easier anyways. But I have cut all these little slots all around the circle. So far this is going pretty quickly. I'm impressed with myself. I think it took a lot longer to do the uh, haunted house. So I've moved on to the outside petals and I'm doing the same thing. I'm making the gap between my lines wider at the top of each petal to allow more light in. And basically, if you're... I'm not going to say new at drawing. If you don't think you're very good at drawing and you're worried about whether you can make flower petals, really, each petal is just a triangle. But instead of making very straight lines with your triangle, you're curving them a little bit. And that's, that's a flower petal. You can make almost any flower with petals shaped like a curved triangle. Most people can manage to draw a triangle, I'm pretty sure. That means that most people can manage to do this design. I think the curly cues are actually the harder part, simply because we're so used to seeing circles that are perfectly straight, because they're on things that have been machine made, lids and all that kind of stuff, that when we draw a circle, we have a hard time getting the circle straight, because every time we see it, we think, oh, it's not perfect. I'm not too worried about whether it's perfect. Because it is cut by hand, it's part of my design. If I was a machine, okay, I'd be upset if it wasn't perfect. I'm far from perfect. And so each curly cue is going to be slightly different. They're not all going to be perfectly round. They're not going to be the same size. And if you can let go of that worry that you know, you're not making perfect circles, then you can have a lot more fun with it. And that's my dinner. My oven's just going to keep on beeping at me too. So I will finish up my outside petals. I'm just going to shut that up. So it doesn't keep beeping. And I'll finish my outside petals and show you how it looks. And then I'm going to have my dinner and I'll come back and do part two. So this actually may be the shortest video I managed to make. So there, honey. I can do it after all. As long as I stop to eat in the middle of it. But it has been kind of a long, busy day today. I have accomplished a rather long blog post, several videos for YouTube. Not bad for a day when I just didn't want to get out of bed at all. And my front step is now covered in pumpkins. So I'm happy with it. I'm not really happy it's sitting around in bed feeling sick. I think the more you sit around, the more you think about the fact that you don't feel good. And the more miserable you are. I don't think I got that very wide. I'll probably have to widen that out after. But, in the meantime, here's what we've got so far. Didn't take long at all. Right? So I still have to cut out my center, but these pieces have been cut.
petals of the outside petals have been cut. So I'm going to pause this and part two will be getting the curlicues done, poking holes and doing the center. So I will see you in a bit.